So you want to know how to play dedicated servers on the Xbox One edition of Bedrock Edition, if that makes sense. Yes, I'm on Windows 10 right now, and you, the way this actually works is you need a PC or a laptop to run a command prompt. I'm going to explain it all in a minute. But you need to download a program as well called Phantom, but it's not actually a program. You just drag it across to the command prompt. But anyway, I'm on Windows 10 version, and I just want to explain what I'm on about here. So this is what I'm on about. We have this thing on here called Add Server. Now, I know this is possible on Switch as well, I think. I haven't got one, but I could be wrong. And I think it's possible on Pocket Edition, right? But not Xbox One. We don't have this Add Server. But this is where this tutorial comes in, and you can add servers, okay, by using your PC or laptop. So, like I say, you can just do this and this and this, okay? But you don't actually do it on the game, you do it on the command prompt. But I'll show you in a minute, okay? I just wanted to point that out to you. So, first of all, we're going to go out of this and get onto the desktop. So, I'm on my desktop, guys. And, yes, we need to download these two files, okay? So, we've got a, a RAW file here. And this is the Phantom EXE file, okay? This is what I've made. I'll explain more in a second. And basically, we're going to go to Google. And first of all, I just want to say thanks so much to Justin Head, or is it Justin Head, or J Head? Thanks for making this. All credit goes to this dude. And yeah, absolute legend for doing this. It's going to save a lot of players. I don't know. It's just, oh, yes. So good. So good. <laughs> I don't know. It's exciting stuff, I swear. Anyway, I'm going to have a link for this in the description of the video. Okay, so what we want to do is scroll down a bit, and this is the phantom.exe, so I'll click on that, and you should download that straight away, but obviously I've already got that, so let's cancel that quickly. And this is the source code. Now, this is the RAW file, okay, or the zip file, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, they're the two programs or files I put on my desktop, so I can get out of there. So thanks very much for all that. So that's what you should end up with on your desktop. Please put this on your desktop because it's just easier, okay? Next, all we need to do is type in CMD. There is other ways, but I like to do it like that. Open up the command prompt. Get your get your phantom, okay, the EXE one. Simply drag it across. Click on this, enter. It's going to start the process, okay? Now, I've, I've made this little um, text file here. So if I all copy that. Basically, all I need to do is paste this, but I think I should have put a space, possibly. I don't know. Basically, what this is, is looking on a C drive, users, me, downloads probs, on the desktop for this phantom, wherever it's gone. If I get rid of that, I get rid of that now. It's looking for this, okay? Now, I need to just put in the server port, which... I'm going to have a look at now. So let's have a look, shall we? So we've got a load of different things here. As I'm a big fan of Skyblock and it's in Britain, I'm going to try this one. So I believe if you click that, yeah, it copies it. Okay. And I'll just get rid of that. Now we get back on there. And what I'm going to do is do that. Actually, get rid of all that. Get rid of all that. Like that. Well, I'll just get rid of all of it. It makes sense, right? And literally, that is it. Okay. Easy stuff. Hit enter. And then this happens. Okay. Now, I've actually hooked up my Xbox One already. So I'm going to hit record on that now. And yeah, we'll get on the Xbox One and I'll show you what's going on. But at the same time, please, if you are using this, leave this command prompt open. Because technically... You're turning your laptop or computer into, a, like, the proxy server. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but basically, it's using the Wi-Fi built in your device, like your laptop or your computer or whatever, and sending it across to your Xbox in a LAN format, okay? So anyway, leave that open. I can get rid of this, actually, and minimize that. So make sure, like I say, before I go on the Xbox, you actually leave this here. Otherwise, yeah, this will not work. So anyway, let's hop onto the Xbox and yeah, let's get on with it. So I'm on the Xbox. Obviously, I'm on Xbox, as you know. I've, I've got a controller in my hand. Look, 
So I'm on 1.9.0, hit play. And I got friends here, so I got loads of friends. Because I'm a big star, Jake. But anyway, this is what I'm looking for. LAN games, it will say this. Remote server, it will say all this gobbly gobbly gob. And yeah, basically you just press A. And this should be it. So we should be on a Skyblock server, guys. Oh my god. Now, if you, if you are, you know, if you're a bit scared about this, you can actually see it says here, opening connection to my IP address and that IP address. Okay. On the actual command prompt. And here we go. I'm here. Look. Hello, I'm here. This is a dedicated server and I'm on a Xbox one. And look, there's some players. I've just seen someone. Should we go and say hi? God, what is going on? He's so quick. Hello. <laughs> You're on my video, dude. Say hi. Hi. Okay. Um, and Lollipop YouTube Pro. Go subscribe to Lollipop YouTube Pro. Hey, guys. I hope that that... You know, that helps you guys play servers and stuff on your Xbox One. Um, I have no idea what this is, but what on earth is that? All generators can come in many sizes. This is one simple one. Oh, I can't burn myself. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm Dan Ross Probs. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope this helps you. Like I say, play servers on the Xbox One. Awesome stuff. Anyway, catch you in the next one.